So you, you sort of touched on it uh, a bit, but um, in terms of V-Suite, V-Suite's a great industry standard. There's a lot there, um, but it has, we have some work to do with it. What do you, what do you think are the top one or two um, things that where V-Suite needs to change for, you know, for the better to improve? Where, where do you think, what do, we, what do we need to tackle next is? So I think, start with that. So I think, I think the, the biggest challenge is uh, creative format. And create formats that are that'll load properly in a uh, you know whatever device the user is accessing the content on. So, uh, Kathy briefly mentioned you know having a uh, maybe a vast extension that could reference a mezzanine file that you know could then be you know repackaged for any device. Uh, that's the, the biggest challenge we have right now is just uh, compatibility. I was <laughs> I was going to say the same thing, but you still my answer. <laughs> so you got to go with two, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. Two. Um, so yes, I think um, you know being able to to, to kind of build on that um, with uh, so with with TV content online, I think both from the publisher's perspective and the advertiser's perspective, you know it's it's an ad in an episode. It's not an ad in an episode on an iPad app. Or um, so um, again, being able to think about um, uh, ads in that way means that you know you don't want to have to prepare a, a different rendition for every single device that's out there. Um, you know, the agency wants to just be able to provide, hey, here's my ad, and we should be able to, on the publisher side, play that back on any device. Okay. I have a follow-up to that, which yeah, is uh, downloadable content is another place that it just hasn't been touched uh, in a standard way you know, with, the, with the V Suite. So uh, that's going to become a much more, you know, for us, it's a huge initiative at Comcast, uh, being able to push content down to a device so you can go on a plane or some, a train or somewhere where you're not connected, uh, be able to view that, get the ad load, Ping those ad, you know, event back to the server when the user reconnects. Uh, that's just, it's just a huge uh, opportunity that I see, and I think it's going to become more and more important. Great. I, my vote is for VPaid. Um, on the VPaid side, and this will lead to a question. On the VPaid side, we seem to have um, some disconnect. The buyers want VPaid on all the devices, but the technology people are telling me that VPaid is only for desktop. So. How do we reconcile that or, or address that going forward? Yes, I think um, VPaid is a, is, a, is a really interesting one. I think there are kind of two main use cases that we tend to see around um, uh, folks using VPaid. One is uh, the obvious kind of interactive advertising. And then the second is actually um, to be able to sort of load a, a, a third party ad player, um, which allows not only for the ad playback, but all the metrics, kind of very custom metrics that um, either that agency or that publisher is looking to get. Um, so I think um, you know, maybe clear definitions around what the use of VPaid is, or, or for that particular use case, what those are, um, I think would really help um, in terms of ensuring that those VPaid creatives work. Um, and, um, and, and so that's, that's kind of the biggest challenge that we, we see with VPaid is, is, is that, um, and I think figuring out what does VPaid mean when, you know, as, as you know, I was talking about before where, um, you know, inventory is just inventory. It's not specific necessarily to mobile or to desktop. Um, VPaid, as you said, has traditionally been seen as, as, as a desktop standard. Um, how do we think about interactive ads? Um, how do we think about things like MRAID across different screens? And how do we make um, interactive ads be more portable across those different screens? Um, so I think those are, those are questions that I have. So do VPaid and, and MRAID, because MRAID's the other one that you, you hear about a lot, and in some of the technology implementations, we see the two jam together, sort of merge together. Does VPaid and MRAID as a spec start to merge together at some point in the future? Speaking of interactivity? I think you have to, at some point we have to agree on what's, what's the minimum viable, minimum viable product for a ad impression, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's all, all kinds of device specific capabilities that you can have, but at the end of the day, you know, what, what is it gonna be built for? Is it just viewing that 30 second ad or is it, you know, advanced interaction, is that additional billing? Uh, maybe it comes to a point where there's just some devices that, that just doing the ad is the, the product, but you know, being able to scale that across to uh, you know, utilize the, the capabilities of the device, device-specific capabilities mm -hmm. in a better way. 